It's literally all hands on deck as teachers, parents, and the St. Lucia Fire Service attempt to navigate the Dame Polite Louise School back to normalcy. Of the three times the institution has been affected by flooding, the weather event of Sunday 6 November has been the most impactful. I know the teachers put a lot into educating our children and I know they couldn't do it alone. I had the free time so I decided to come in and here I am cleaning up chairs to ensure that things are nice and sanitized so when they come back in. So this is what I, my way of helping, my way of giving back. Mr. Branch, the school's mascot for over 13 years, has weathered all three floods and seemed eager to give his testimony of how he walked away with his life following this existential threat, the result of a changing climate. Taiwanese Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chen saw firsthand the aftermath and pledged his support for a donation to the school. As everybody knows, Taiwan and Sanusha are not only friends of prosperity, we are also partners of, in the adversity. So that's nature that I will think of, uh, provide uh, assistance to the school. So uh, I'm really uh, glad that with the help of Honorable Minister Kashmir, we will, we will be able to make it so quick because I think the help needs to be in time. Yeah, so uh, that's why we are doing this afternoon. We try to provide a small fund and I hope that this small fund will bring relief to the school. Minister for Youth Development and Sports and Parliamentary Representative for Grozili, Honorable Kenson Kazimi, took a break from assessing damage in his constituency to receive the donation and express his gratitude on behalf of the school. As the ambassador said, it was a very trying time for the constituency of Grosley, and so we want to invite other persons who are concerned to, to really show their concern by, by providing some form of assistance, monetary or in kind. We have a lot of needs in the community, including water, um, clothing, uh, beds, food, um, uh, even material for certain individuals. Of course, a lot of individuals are not at work because they don't have any clothing um, right now. And so it's of huge, huge concern to me and, uh, for, and the rest of the community. And so thank you so much, um, Ambassador, for your continued support. We will continue to um, be friends, brothers, and partners in development uh, locally and, of course, regionally and internationally. Thank you so much. Principal Leos, who is coordinating cleanup efforts, says... This time around was the most challenging. This is our third hit. This is the worst of the three. And um, it was really, really heart-wrenching when we came in on Sunday. But today you are seeing something good. You're seeing something real good. And I am truly appreciative of all gestures that come our way, all assistance that come our way. Every little bit counts. And we just want to get our students back at school at the soonest. Reporting from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I am Marvin St. Louis.